Raging bitch. Raging bitch. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to do a uh, sales promo. <laughs> My name is Jim Caruso. I'm the CEO of Flying Dog Brewery in historic Frederick, Maryland. Like most craft breweries, we believe that beer was liquid art. My goal is to be the best part of your day. Of course, everything seems to be controversial. Raging bitch. Raging bitch. It's raging bitch. Raging bitch. Flying Dog is highly recognized for our quirky, edgy beer names and art by the famous artist Ralph Steadman. Beer names are very hard to come up with. You can think about all the beer names you want. You Google it, there's probably a beer that's been taken, especially beers with the name Dog in it. It's made with El Diablo yeast, and it's a very aggressive yeast. It's a raging yeast. Bitch is a dog. That is the etymology of the word going back to the 1200s. Raging bitch sounds cool. We were the first Belgian-style IPA on the market. We made a name for ourselves in that respect. It's a perfect representation of Flying Dog as a brand and a marvelous beer. We have some fence posts, and we don't violate those. And of course, there's a double entendre. But this is beer, sold in a beer store to 21-year-olds. So the state of Michigan just had a policy in place, unbeknownst to me, they reject everything with the name bitch in it. And for those people who aren't aware, the federal government has to approve a label. And then most states approve labels or at least register them. We got a call from Michigan and the state police are going to confiscate all the beer in the state if you don't have it removed within 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. But of course, Backwoods Bastard was fine, Arrogant Bastard was fine, Fat Bastard, et cetera, et cetera. So we sued. Six years later, we won. We were awarded damages because Michigan committed a crime against us. It's complete bullshit, if I can be completely honest with you. After paying attorney's fees, I used the rest of the proceeds to found the First Amendment Society, the co-founded with Aaron Weston. And our goal with that is to continue this residual ongoing conversation about what is freedom of expression. Constitutional freedoms are not lost overnight. Even in the most brutal dictatorship, they're chipped away at bit by bit by bit. So these battles are always fought and defended at the edges. Uh, it's not about a beer label, it's about the principle of freedom of expression. Raging Bitch is the perfect beer to represent freedom of speech because if you are in fact offended by it, you are the exact person who needs to be drinking it. The most basic human right is the right to your thoughts and ideas. I've had the opportunity to speak at events sponsored by the Charles Koch Institute. Because they so actively support freedom of speech, I'm always privileged and honored to speak at those events about freedom of speech in a real world scenario like when a state rejects your label. It's terrifying to me what's happening. People's freedoms are being taken away and it's happening more and more every day. And if we don't get out there and start spreading the word that this is happening, it's going to get to a point where it's too late.